Welcome back to the show, everybody. We got a great one lined up for you today. We're going to talk about XRP back on Coinbase. Rumor or trumor, as our friend Mr. Intuitive says. Coinbase executives dumped $250 million worth of company stock. Again, rumor or trumor? And what might it say about the conventional <laughs> stock market? $204 million XRP had been moved. We'll tell you where. The SEC just took a devastating blow from the judge on a ruling and it is massive for ripples fair notice defense we're going to break that down for you with the help of jeremy hogan xrp army BitBoy price prediction he says we were right all along somebody make room for him on the bus roll that beautiful intro this is digital perspectives with brad kimes subscribe for new content notifications now here's brad kimes Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Happy Friday. It is September 10th. I keep trying to tell myself to do the date on every video so you guys and I have a good, you know, even though it's listed when you post it, it's still good to know you could turn it on here and go, that was the day he said that. Okay, for reference. So looking right here, it's $2,095,000,000 is what we're looking at here. And it's just over the $2 trillion mark. We've seen a little bit of money sell off. Now, we had a push in price. Uh, last evening on the rumor of Coinbase relisting XRP. We will get to that in just a second. But nevertheless, uh, we are off 1.39% for the cryptocurrency market space here. And we can see right now everything's selling off a little bit more than what it already was. Uh, 46,200 plus for Bitcoin, 3,300 plus for Ethereum. And we see Cardano at 248 right now, kind of holding its own. And XRP back, at t back testing that 109 support area we will uh have the opportunity now we know it's a range right and these things are theory based and on how they look at the technical analysis but we know we're back testing 109 that's showed to be good support for us but it doesn't mean that we couldn't go back below it even into the 85 cent range don't be surprised if we see it shout out to coins kid for that we will hear from him in the later video today looking right here we're at 10884 the low end of the xrp price range 106 and the top end of the price range went to 124.08. Pretty good motion going on on price. All right, so now let's start right here with Unusual Whales, who says Coinbase executives sold nearly $250 million in company stocks in the past month alone. In fact, they dumped shares the same day as their Wells notice came in, and that was the notice from the SEC saying, um... We're not saying you can't list or can't go ahead with the DeFi lending, but if you do, we're going to sue you. And then Coinbase says, well, why would you do that? And then we had, which is my version of crickets. So, uh, you know, the SEC being a bully again, not only with Ripple and XRP, but now pushing on to Coinbase's doorstep with the same idea and notion. One has to wonder where all of this stops. And I think... If I'm not mistaken in this process here, SEC is going to continue to overreach until Congress finally gets the, uh, you know, the message that we're going to need to step in and legislate this space and these new emerging technologies. Otherwise, this is never going to stop with the SEC just suing by enforcement here, because really, I think it puts the pressure and incentive on Congress to get something done. The other point about the Coinbase here is this. 250 million in company stock dumped in the past by the uh, month alone by the executives. You know, some say, oh, well, they're taking profits. You know, they finally go on public. And that's all true, too. But you have to wonder, because we've been hearing about a huge market correction coming in the space, and we've seen other executives and other companies that weren't even in the blockchain space doing the same thing with selling off and taking some profits. So one has to wonder if that huge correction in the conventional stock market is just around the corner. Now, to the trumor or rumor for Coinbase here, as previously announced, Coinbase has suspended 
suspended trading in XRP due to a technical issue. XRP was temporarily viewable on the Coinbase Pro mobile app for some customers, but was not tradable. Now, a lot of people are saying this is how we got to 124 in like seven minutes last night. And it probably was. And it was everyone thinking that Coinbase had relisted it. And, you know, here is the article here where Coinbase was quick to shut down the relisting rumors that started swirling on social media and good for them for coming out and setting the record straight. But Mr. BXRP asked a great question here about the idea that XRP looked like it was back on the board, but it actually wasn't. And Coinbase was quick to come out and straighten it out and say, we have not relisted XRP for trading. It is still suspended. But Mr. B asked a great question. He says, I wonder if this was Coinbase threatening the SEC in retaliation, like a little soft, passive aggressive. Maybe we do. And look, I've been calling for it since this happened with Coinbase. I think this would be the greatest way to move forward. First of all, I'd move forward with opening my lending DeFi program because for one, there's so many others out here doing it. So, and two, you know, it, it would be a way of saying, you know what, you haven't even made a decision about XRP. And you know what? We're about to see some massive, massive, devastating news to the SEC on that notion of the Ripple SEC case. So it even bodes even more well for any exchange, I believe, that would want to relist the asset. Looking right here, 204 million XRP tokens have been transferred by Ripple and several large crypto exchanges in big lumps. Now, one has to wonder here, knowing that it's not readily accessible to most of us as retail investors, unless you're going through Uphold, God bless them, you know, or trading into it to Binance, right? God bless them too. You know, you have to wonder what is happening. Are we about to prepare to see XRP be relisted? Are we moving ever so closer to a tipping point for the Ripple SEC case where we may in fact see a settlement or some kind of a uh, summary judgment here not too long from now? I mean, I think I think the timeline on this, even without a uh, unexpected settlement, goes no further than the first part of next year into the first quarter, right? So to me, that's not that far away. So looking at this, you have to wonder, but it says Ripple transferred 40 million of that total 204 million plus to an address, which is often used to move crypto outside the company to its partners, crypto exchanges, and financial institutions. This wallet is also used for selling XRP to obtain fiat for covering Ripple's operational expenses. So with that, we don't know whether the majority of what was moved there was to cover Ripple's operational expenses or if it's some kind of play to get some of this XRP moved around and jockeying around for maybe a settlement that could be in the works that we are not yet aware of. Ripple drains wallet containing 4 billion XRP as settlement with co-founder nears completion from Kenwood Capital here. And shout out to Hall of Famer Michael for all the other information we had there as well. This is a reminder about Jed McCaleb, the original creator of the XRP ledger, who actually brought in uh, uh, David Schwartz and Arthur Brito as co-creators as well. And basically, you know, uh, this uh, wallet is now empty, was periodically sending XRP to the co-founder as a part of his settlement for leaving the company in their agreement that they had. Now, uh, Leonidas has been on top of this from day one. There's no question about it. And, you know, truthfully, Leonidas also knows that none of us actually shared any information or hid any information when we went to Swell in 2019, too, because he was there. But <laughs> I don't know if he talks about it, but I know he knows that deep down. He does know that. Currently, McCaleb's wallet holding 709,911,000 XRP worth 795,000 plus at the time of writing. The final transfer to McCaleb's wallet was 174 4 million XRP on September 1st. Leonidas shared the news of the 39 of his 39,000 plus Twitter followers. Ripple wallet that funds Taco Stand is now officially empty. A year ago, this wallet held more than 4 billion XRP. Taco Stand balance is now at 709 million plus. So, doesn't mean he can't sell what he's got left, but you know the truth is, why would he if the market's going to turn around? Jed's a pretty smart guy. Here's the devastating news we've come on to right here. XRP lawsuit 
SEC officially admits its failure to inform anyone that XRP was in fact a security according to the SEC prior to the filing of the lawsuit itself. This is extremely damning to the SEC. And there's no one better here to break this down. And it's Jeremy Hogan's tweet. Well, that is officially legally admitted, ladies and gentlemen. This is a massive, devastating moment for the SEC. One of a few more that I believe are about to follow. Let's take a look at this. This is enormous for all of us. And shout out to Ripple for really fighting for as much as they have and continue to do so. Admit that prior to the initiation of this proceeding, in response to inquiries by third parties described in request number 99 above, the SEC has never informed a third party that it considers XRP to be a security. That is pretty damning right there. And that bodes well for the fair notice defense for Ripple too, baby. In addition to the foregoing objections, the commission objects that this request is irrelevant because the commission can prevail in this case, even if this is requested fact is true. Subject to all the foregoing objections, the commission admits that before the filing of this case, Certain third parties inquired about the legal status of XRP. However, the commission did not state a view one way or the other in response. I tell you, you know, this is pretty remarkable. Here's the other thing. Admit the transactions can be executed over the XRP ledger more quickly than transactions over the Bitcoin blockchain. Not like we didn't know, but it's nice to hear it said in court typing here, you know, filings as well. This is extremely damning for the SEC right here. This is an omission and now it's evidence because he lays it down here. He breaks it down in layman's terms here. Ripple's first request for admission to the SEC was attached to the most recent court filing, and in it, the SEC admits that it never told anyone that XRP was a security until the lawsuit was filed. That is now an official admission in this case. Are you kidding me? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, and I tell you, with that being right there and a fact that is now an open fact as a part of this case, out of the seven or eight years that they claimed Ripple was a, or XRP was a security, look, until the date of that filing, what was it, one year ago almost? December, on the last day of December, or last day of Jay Clayton's office, late December there? What was it, December 20th, something like that? I have to say, I mean, this is remarkable for us. So now everything prior to the lawsuit filing, far as I'm concerned, is thrown out. That's done. That's ripple fair notice. And anything after the lawsuit may be in question, but we'll see what the we'll see what Jeremy and John Deaton and everyone else in James K. Filing have to say about this because I, I believe this is remarkable. Now, this is a great place for us to leave today because BitBoy was on his show and talking with all the other uh, YouTube influencers or influencers there, and he lays it down here in this little one minute plus clip, you're gonna hear him lay down what he believes is the price without a settlement, the price with a settlement, and he's also going to give every one of us in the XRP army what the truth is the whole time we have been right. Check it out. The lawsuit is settled, and before the end of the run, that's announced. That would be the nitro fuel mm -hmm. that could push it between twenty and thirty dollars. But I think you know, without that, I think we're definitely looking at twelve, fifteen dollars very easily. Because, hey, because here, 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 here's here's why though. Just though, just real quick, like if you think about that suppression, the suppression is going to be gone. So Ripple should have already hit five dollars. So twelve to fifteen for the most parabolic part of the run, you know, like two xing basically. It's, you know, uh, where it would have been earlier in this run. It's not outlandish at all. I think $12, $15 is very reasonable. I have a question. 
Go for I'll it. I'll save my question. Uh-huh. We're short on time. No, no, no. We, we can talk about this the rest of the time if you guys want. That's fine. This is important. Yeah. What happens if uh, what happens if it doesn't break? It's uh, or what if it, what if it doesn't break five bucks? Like and and the lawsuit. Uh, you know, even if they win the lawsuit, um, we can come back and talk about that. I don't know. I kind of have my suspicions as as to whether or not uh, the competitors will catch up. But we'll see what happens. What competitors? I, there's no there's 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 no competitors to XRP. There's points. no competitors to XRP. I mean, uh, there are zero. God bless them. One of them is saying stable coins is a Uh, God bless Ben. I mean, he's dealing with it. I mean, you know, if you think stable coins are a competition to XRP, you do not understand what is going on. You just don't. All right, here we go. Zero competitors. uh, This has already been decided. All those crazy XRP army people, they were right the whole time. There you go. Uh, Who doesn't love hearing that, right? Bit. BitBoy is officially, it's over. Somebody send him the tinfoil hat because he's a part of the club. Scoot over and make room on the bus. We got one more coming in. It's glad to have you. We're glad to have you. And I'm glad that he's turning on so many people to XRP and what is happening with this case. And I couldn't be happier, no doubt about it. Listen, that's going to do it for me. Make sure you catch the second video today. It's going to be straight fire. We're going to hear from Chris John Carlo. You're going to hear more clips from the exclusive talk that DAI and my self had with jeremy hogan and john deaton on coinbase and the ripple case make sure you check that out hit all the uh like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already and check out the links in the description and comment section by the way one of the many ways that i help hide my identity online is by using pure vpn 99 cent seven day special there as well as many other links in there ledger nano and above have great deals but you gotta click the links i'll catch all of you on the next one.